gate right there. See, it don't sound bad. See, it was Ben supposed to switch gears right now. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Carvin Sereja. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, man, we're picking up some more parts for the Q50. And I finally bought a transmission. I'm going to go ahead and fill you guys in on that in just a minute. But I'm over here sitting at Infinity right now because we got to get the last couple of parts. So let's go up in here and get all the parts. And then I'm going to come out in just a second and explain what I got. And I'm going to tell you guys what I bought from Z1. I'm going to also tell you guys about the transmission. Man, it's coming along. Everything is coming along. I'm so, so excited. Um, this is probably going to be a two-day vlog because I'm running low on daylight right now. It's already 3 o'clock, and I got to go meet up with um, with my boy who bought the Lexus. So, y'all going to see the Lexus in this video. So, yeah, this is going to be a nice little vlog, man. So, you know, go ahead and kick back. You know, do what you do. Grab something to eat. Grab something to drink. Whatever. You know, kick back with your boy. So, all right, y'all. And about... <laughs> probably 45 minutes later man finally back in the whip finally got the parts that i needed for the q50 i told you guys um that i bought a transmission i want to get that out the way uh real quick while i'm on the road in traffic so let's go ahead and chop it up but um the transmission so i have i bought the vr transmission it's official but after taxes and shipping it came out to a thousand and sixty eight dollars which wasn't bad and now this is where it gets really good um the transmission only has 477 miles on it so a fairly brand new transmission with a brand new valve body that i bought last week if you haven't watched that vlog go ahead and watch it so everything should work perfectly fine now today what i had to do is i had to get the remaining parts um for the queue for this job for the for the swap so i don't know if i explained it in the first vlog but i plan on doing maintenance i plan on doing two stages of maintenance so the first stage is obviously doing the, the VR swap and I'm getting the heater hose done, the thermostat, pretty much everything with, you know, cooling. I'm getting done, right? And then the second stage, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the spark plugs, dry belt. That's it. And then, um, and then after that, everything will be, you know, pretty much straight. I'll have the 100,000 mile service done. Plus everything with the cooling and everything is gonna be fine. I had to make sure I get the rest of these parts before uh, my appointment. My appointment is in two weeks to finally get the VR um, inside this car and you know do the first stage of maintenance that I'm doing on the car. So honestly, I really can't wait. Um, I had the car for two months. You know what I'm saying? Two months and not being able to drive it, but just around the corner. You know, I'm tired of doing that. I'm ready to take it on the freeway. I'm ready to, you know, just drive in it. I'm ready to just, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to make content, you know what I'm saying? Because content been very, very, very slow for me. It may not look like it on YouTube, but it's been very, very, very slow for me. I haven't really been recording a lot. Uh, luckily, I recorded a lot before I had, you know, did the Q50 um, transaction or whatever um, to where I still had a lot of videos left. So that's the reason why I'm still afloat. But content has been very, very slow because all I got is the G35 and the G35, what I'm in right now. The G35 is my daily. <laughs> and I haven't been making a lot of videos on it because I've been so focused on this queue. Like, I've been just jot down every idea that I can, you know, trying to look online for, you know, parts because, like I said, I'm finna go crazy uh, with this car. As soon as it get out the shop, man, I'm telling you, we're gonna... We're going to be going zero through 100 on this car. We're going to be kind of moving fast, but hey, that's what we got to do. You know, we got to get ready for summertime. You know what I'm saying? To pop out. You know, I may not be the fastest by the summertime, but, you know, at least I could try to be the cleanest by the summertime. So that's really my goal as far as, you know, this year is just to, you know, focus on cleaning the car up. Like, um, I'm going to show you guys the flaws uh, tomorrow because I plan on going to the queue tomorrow and I want to show you guys all the parts that I have, everything, and I want to show you guys the queue again because you guys haven't seen it in a while. So uh, we're going to go take the queue out just around the corner and, you know, we're going to, you know, I'm going to show you guys again and kind of talk about the flaws of the car. <laughs> all right, y'all. I know y'all remember this, man. Damn, look how clean it is, bro. 
make me want to go buy it back low key <laughs> and i'm just playing but man this thing is clean bro all the memories everything i ain't seen this car in about two weeks two three weeks but man i miss it i ain't gonna lie i miss it can't forget about the backup camera though come on man and we can't forget that is not a regular ls400 it's a platinum so man i ain't gonna lie man seeing this car how clean it looked man just making me miss it but you know it is what it is man gotta move on gotta move on go ahead and show y'all the inside real quick just want to show y'all the outside because it looks so clean right now dang looks so clean look at the inside boy it's all buttered down you know what i'm saying the inside is all clean boy like whoo this car is nice the next day all right y'all obviously it's the next day and we in the q50 man we in the q50 letting it idle I told y'all I was going to um, go ahead and drive it for y'all just so y'all can see that the car works. It just be shipping a little funny, but let's go ahead and give y'all a walk around on the outside before we go ahead and take this ride. Still dirty, though. Oh, just can't wait to get on the road. Look at all this. Man, I can't wait to actually watch this thing, though, bro. But got the car outside, man. Like I said, I'm going to go over all the imperfections as soon as we get to the uh, destination. I just wanted to step out and just show y'all real quick. Of what we looking like man hear that thing idling let's go ahead and dry this thing man all right let's do it see it's been supposed to switch y'all but and it kind of jerks a little bit on um, every time it shifts but it drives it just it just don't drive normal see right there see right there it's holding it too long it's not shifting But it moves, it goes, it just has a little trouble shifting. But that's why I don't take it too far. I really just take it around the corner, if anything. But still moves, still shifts. You know what I'm saying? I really just can't wait till I get my my new baby outside though because man this car is a vibe for real boy and i love the sound i i ain't gonna lie it is uh i heard it's straight pipe but it don't sound like it's straight pipe it really got a good tone to it so i don't know i gotta go under there and, and see for myself but it sound really really good see man it's it drives okay let's go ahead and pull up over here well the first imperfection i'm gonna show y'all is the window tint not really with this window but y'all can see like look at that big old gap right there man look at that big old gap look at this one look at that right there i don't know if y'all can see that y'all see that that's bad this right here is completely dark i can't see anything out this window um this window you can see a little bit but that window is completely dark i can't see anything out of it and um i think it's like zero percent that's just way too dark i ain't gonna lie and the windshield has no tint on it too so you know that's a no-no so i'm gonna have to get window tint asap and the second imperfection i'm gonna show y'all curb rash all over the wheels and stuff but all that could get fixed this one right here like I said, all that can get fixed. I'm gonna get all this fixed. Cause I actually like these wheels. I ain't gonna lie, I really do like these wheels. See it right here. Oh, look, I even noticed this, bro. I might need some tires. But uh, yeah, you see all the curb rash and all that other stuff. And these are 275s back here. These are big boys. Cool, 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 cool. And then curb rash all over this wheel too. That I'm gonna get fixed. So oh and it's a staggered setup too so 245s in the front 275s in the back perfect 
perfect. I love a staggered setup. But I wanted to show you guys the parts. So this is all the parts that I got for the Q right now that's with me. Um, this is the valve body right here. The big dad right here, you know, from Nissan. I got the thermostat from Z1 right here. Nice brand new thermostat. I got the little heater hose, the aluminum thing from Z1. So, um, made sure I had to get this instead of the plastic one. Because, you know, the plastic pieces, they the reason why the heater hose really be filling in the first place. So, I got the aluminum things. And then the rest up in this bag is just some clamps and a um, gasket for the, uh, for the thermostat right there. And this is all from Z1. And the one thing that I don't have right now is my radiator cap, but it's on the way and it should be here in the next couple of days right before it goes to the shop. And all right here is the tubing for the heater hose right here. Just one tube. Right. And then all of this is automatic transmission fluid for the VR swap. So got all the transmission fluid that it needs. So that's good. And then I have got the coolant right here for, you know, doing the thermostat and the heater hose because you know they're gonna have to um, drain the cooler anyway so bought one thing but i think i'm gonna buy another one just in case and if i don't and if he don't use it i'll just you know return it but i'd rather just have everything instead of me you know have to go get everything while it's out there that's just how the way i am another imperfection i want to show you guys this is dent right here Damn! i don't know if you guys could really see it but it's a it's a many little dent right here and a little bit of the paint came off. So I want to see if I can get that touched up as well. So we're going to see. Let me see if I step back, if you guys can see it a little bit. I don't know if y'all could, I don't know if y'all can really see it on camera. I hope y'all can see it, but it's right here. So many little dent and then this little chip, little spot right here. I'm going to see if I can get that touched up or whatever. But besides all that, it's really everything is really good with this car so a couple of imperfections around the car but ain't no big deal you know we're gonna get all that stuff done but like i said y'all i'm gonna be announcing my official plans when i get this car running and y'all gonna know everything that i'm gonna do to it this year which is a lot i'm not even gonna lie it's gonna be a lot and i'm gonna do it so y'all definitely stay tuned for that video but as far as what i can say right now like i told y'all before i believe i think yesterday is that this year is all about cleaning up the car. So every little imperfection that you see, I want it gone. I want this car to look really, really, really good in the summertime. And that's really my goal. The speed, like performance, I feel like that's gonna come maybe the year of 2025 where I'm gonna really put emphasis on speed. But right now, I just really wanna clean up the car, make it, you know, real nice. And I'm not saying I'm not doing no performance mod. I will be doing a couple of performance mods, but y'all have to stay tuned for that video. But like I said, there's a lot of stuff that I'm gonna be doing. So y'all definitely stay tuned. But let's go ahead and get back in the whip. The most thing that I'm really excited for about this car is the paddle shifters, bro. I really can't wait to, to use these. I'm gonna get the little carbon fiber piece around it. I honestly like the wood grain. I haven't seen a lot of Q50s that have the little wood grain. So instead of me putting carbon on it, I'm gonna probably just go ahead and keep the wood grain or whatever. I feel like that adds a good touch. I just can't wait to really just drive my car. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I really can't wait to drive my car and really, you know, just enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Like I had this car for a month already and the the furthest I drive this car is right around the corner. You know what I'm saying? Like I haven't did like, you know, pulls with the car yet. I haven't did anything, but you know, in two weeks when the car goes in the shop, I'll be able to do all that. So I'm really excited. Actually right now, uh, when I go ahead and put this car back, I'm about to go ahead and make it official and register this car and put it in my name since it's getting close because I didn't want to register it then because I need a small, and of course it's not going to pass smog right now because of the, um, because of the check engine light. So I got to wait until all that's cleared and then I can go take it to the smog shop, get it all smogged up and then I'll get my official paperwork or whatever. But can't wait to see what I do and when I put my touches on it, man. Y'all gonna see it's gonna be like the cleanest Q50. And I keep on getting lucky with black cars. I ain't gonna lie. I get real lucky with black cars. You know, if y'all don't know, that's my favorite color. I wear black a lot. Um, I like black. I just, I just love the color. So, um, I really, I'm, I'm really excited to see what I do with this car and how it's going to look. All right. Let's get up out of here. Let's 
See, there it go right there. Kind of just messed up. But it's all good. New transmission going in in two weeks. Two weeks, this thing gonna have a brand new transmission in it. So we are all good. Dang, I can't wait so I could really get on this thing and really just dry this thing. Boy, I'm going to be smashing. But like I said, though, like for it to be, um, I don't know, but for it to be straight pipe, it really don't sound too bad. It gives out really good sounds, but like I said, I haven't really pushed it to really see where that rasp really coming in at. But, ooh, out of there. It don't sound bad. See, it was Ben supposed to switch gears right now. See how I was just holding this RPM? It was Ben supposed to switch. Right behind the G35, but um, but yeah, as y'all can see, man, the car drives. Um, you know, it's not perfect, but it's not bad either. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. And until the next one, I'll catch y'all, and we hopefully we out to the shop. So um, I'll see y'all then. Peace.